Hey, this is Jay Lee from FrogCube.com, and I'm working here on building a portable container to bring my frogs into where I want to. And this is a uh, watertight tote from the container store. It's for files, and it's about 8 gallons, but you can actually get 15-gallon ones if you want. As you can see, the top here has gaskets on the edges, and uh, this keeps it watertight, but it also helps, uh, well, keep those fruit flies in. And I've actually drilled five uh, two-inch holes there and put uh, plastic grommets in that uh, I've glued um, wire mesh into. And those uh, meshes are 1.75 uh, diameter uh, stainless steel. And as you can see, they work pretty well there. So I also wanted to have at the bottom of this some way to uh, have some sort of substrate that, uh, well, kept the frogs from being stuck in a pool of water or, um, you know, kept the plants from being stuck in a pool of water for that matter. So I got here this, uh, I think it's a Matala uh, media filter. And as you can see, while this is the gray filter, it does look black. And uh, it's the densest material that they have. But you could, like, stick a toothpick in there if you wanted to. And I had the idea of, hey, you know, creeping fig... Well, that grows pretty much anywhere, and you can have a lot of cuttings and just stick them on. And I thought, hey, why don't I go to Lowell's and pick up a, a little uh, liter of creeping fig there, a little liter container. That's about five bucks at Lowell's. And while using, like I said, cut it up into cuttings and uh, using some toothpicks, I made this bottom here. So the plan is to let this grow out, see how it does in a few weeks, maybe just put it in the container, uh, let it stay moist in there, and a lot of daylight outside, and uh, see how it grows. I'll definitely let you know how it grows, but as I said, it's very easy to just take it here and um, toss it into the bottom of the container. So, uh, harder to do with one hand, but uh, I'll just push it down in there there we go and uh, we'll see how that grows but once it does I think it'll actually be a great place where the uh, frogs can get a little bit of uh, area to hide in and uh, maybe in the future I'll work on this in towards of building an easy background so it definitely could make a great background and uh, since that uh, media filter is easy to stick into, very easy to push a few uh, bromeliads in the back there. So uh, this is Jay Lee from frogcube.com. Take care.